Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie, and I have for you today, I guess it's a haul of sorts, um, little preamble, um, the, uh, place where I volunteer, the animal rescue where I volunteer is located in a mall that is basically abandoned. I mean, there's literally, um, probably 80% non-occupancy in this building there's our shelter there are a couple of big restaurants and um a few little stores but not very many and um a dave and busters and um somebody told me the other day they came in the shelter and they said geez what's going on with dave and busters when did they close and i was like what and they said yeah you know as far as i know dave and busters is closed permanently and i kind of had a semi meltdown because i've been going to dave and busters and saving up all my tickets you know for the redemption games saving up my tickets for like literally years other than getting a small item every now and then so i had like 6800 tickets saved up and i freaked because that is the only Dave and Buster's that I know of that's open um, in my area anymore. And I was like, fuck, what am I going to do if I don't have all these tickets and I can't spend them and get anything? So I went by today and they were still open and everything was business as usual. So I'm thinking it might just be because they changed their hours. Um, uh, they might have had different hours like last week because it was winter break here in New York. So they may have been opening earlier for the kids. I don't know what the deal was. And then later other times, but and I'm, I'm going to stop fucking with my hair. <laughs> but um, the point is they're still there. But in the back of my mind, I thought this might be a wake up call, honey. Don't save those tickets forever because God forbid that ever did happen. You would have played all these games, spent all this money, saved up these tickets for years and years, and not have a thing to show for it. So I have a Dave and Buster's haul, I guess you can say. Now, one thing that really bothered me, and if anyone from Dave and Buster's happens to see this, I doubt they will. It really, really, really bothered me that there was clearly marked signage for a few of the items I got. Some of them had no signage at all, but it said this item, this many tickets. And yet when everything was scanned that had prices, it was far more tickets than it was marked. For Well, not necessarily far more, but let me go through and show you what I mean. Okay, this is a really cute Wonder Woman water bottle. It is licensed and everything. It's adorable. I'll take it out of the bag so you can see it. I know it's going to be loud and crinkly. But um, it has a straw inside. And um, it has like this little flip top that's supposed to flip open. Okay. And it attaches to a little straw inside. It's really cute. I can never have too many water bottles. And I love Wonder Woman. But this was clearly marked on the signs um, at either 1,200 or 1,250 tickets. And when the guy scanned it up from the book, water bottle licensed, 1,500 tickets. That's not a small difference. 250 tickets takes a long time to earn. So I thought that was really, really shady. I think that Dave & Buster should honor the prices that are on the signs if the items are signed. And I think everything should be signed. But, you know, I wasn't going to argue. It was like this young man, probably a teenager. He had a busy line. You know, it's nothing he could have done about it. I'm sure a manager would have had to do something. And they might not have even done it. But that's really crappy. They should be consistent and have everything with proper signage and the proper number of tickets listed. That's just me. But anyway... That's neither here nor there. I was willing to, to use the tickets and get it because I wanted the item, so I did what I did. But anyway, so that was 1,500 tickets. I got these really, really, really cute Wonder Woman socks. They're so adorable, and they have, like, laces up the front. I guess they're supposed to be kind of like her boots, even though Wonder Woman's boots were red with yellow laces. I love blue, and I think blue will match with a lot more, and I just thought these were super cute. And these did not have a price at all listed in, t in terms of tickets, but they were 1,250 tickets. So I had like 6,800 tickets, I think, or 6,600, something like that saved up. So like I said, it had taken me a long time to accrue this many. Um, okay, these two signs were priced... I, I'm, I'm saying priced, it's in, obviously in tickets, it's not money value. But these two really cute wall signs, they're just like the canvas wall art. These were signed at 800 tickets each, and that is what they rang up at. But um, my mom says that to me, and um, my husband and I, we say that to each other sometimes too, and I just thought this was precious. It's very simple, it's just the wood frame with the, you know, the little canvas piece in the middle. 
but I thought it was really, really cute. And I got one other piece of wall art. And again, this one was also 800 tickets. And I couldn't help it. I needed that. So, um, yeah, I thought that that was just nice to, um, to have as like a little inspirational thing to remind myself, you know, that I have potential even when I think I'm like completely worthless and useless, which is a lot of the time. And then lastly, um, the final items I got were marked clearly in a display case at 550 tickets each, and they rang at 575, which again, you know, that's not a huge deal, 25 tickets per, but it's the principle of the thing. You know, is it that hard? Like they, the kid said that they got a lot of new prizes. Okay, so you scan each item, you see what the price is, and then you put up a sign accordingly. What is so freaking hard about that? But anyway, nobody could be bothered, so, you know, it is what it is. So altogether, I spent 5,500 tickets to get all this stuff, and I think I have, like, 1,100, 1,200, depending where I started. I don't remember. It shows you on the receipt what you spent, but not what you have left. But these are cute items, and then this way I have a little bit left over. You know, there wasn't anything special I was saving up for, but um, I have a little bit left over, so I'm not, like, flat down to zero again. But then, God forbid, this, the place ever does go under, at least I'm not wasting a massive amount of tickets. And um, I'll probably stop by every Wednesday um, from now on and when I'm done at the shelter and just see if they've gotten any new prizes that I want. But anyway... These Shopkins are really cute little blind bags, and I have one necklace on that I wore today so I could show you. This is Rainbow Bite, and this one was a special edition, S6 of S6, if you can see that on the back. I don't think they're all, like, holographic or, like, shiny, metallic-y like this. I don't remember. I have one other one upstairs that I think is, um the baseball cap, and I don't remember if I've ever bought any others. Yeah, it says look for six exclusive foil tags. So this is one of the six. This is S6. So yeah, S6 of S6. So there were six of them, and that's one of them. Yeah, it says on the back here, approximate odds per pack of finding special rainbow foil tags, one in four. No guaranteed number of special foil tags per pack, yada, yada, yada. And they can be in different shapes, apparently. There's this shape. On the front, there's a heart and a flower. This one is just a circle, obviously, but I decided to get a couple of these just for fun to open. So I will open them on camera with you guys right now. Let's see. And these are season four. Um, the one on the back of this I noticed is dated 2013 moose. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that. So um, these have been out for a long time. I don't know if you'd even find them anyplace else besides like a Dave and Buster's, but they probably get them because they're old and they get them for cheap or whatever. But let's see who we got. And there is a checklist, which is awesome. Ooh, okay, it's another round one. Oh my gosh, I got another foil one. Well, that's pretty badass. And what I love about these, it might only be the foils. Can you see? This is a pink chain that it comes on instead of standard silver. This one comes on a purple chain. I'm so stoked. That's really, really cool. I have no idea who this is, but let's see. This is Sparkly Spritz S6 of S6. So this is obviously a different edition than the one I have here. Oh, you get a sticker too. Okay, I didn't remember that. One fashion tag and one sticker. I had completely forgotten it came with a sticker. That's really cute. A little balloon. Um, but let's see. You can collect 16 different stickers. And this is the stickers you can get. And then these are the fashion tags. Okay. So this is season four. So this one obviously is not season four because it also says S6 of S6. So it says 2013 moose. So does this one, which is weird. This also says 2013 moose on the back. If you can see that, probably not. It's blurry. But, um, but yeah, it's not the same edition, apparently. Yeah, in this edition, there are 18 regulars that you can get. Pita Plant, Jingle Purse, Marty Party Hat, June Balloon, which I guess who is on that sticker, Jiggly Jelly, Berry Smoothie, Miss Pressy, Ice Cream Queen, Goldie Fish Bowl, Milk Bud, Bagel Billy. Oh, I would love to get Bagel Billy. He's so cute. Cheeky Cherries, Handbag Harriet, Pancake Jake, Dolly Donut, Comfy Chair, Tammy TV, and April Apricot. And then the six um, special foil ones, you can get Gemma Bottle, uh, Frenchie Perfume, Pretty Bouquet, Pretty Puff, Sally Scent, or Sparkly Spritz, which is, which is the one I got today. That's really, I'm pretty stoked. That's awesome. But yeah, they're really nice, the foil ones. I don't think I've gotten one yet that wasn't foil. 
I wish I'd brought down the um the baseball cap one. But let me show you. Just give you a quick peek inside. These are the regulars. I hope you can somewhat see them. And then those are the six foil ones. And again, the 16 stickers. So that's pretty cool. I'd forgotten there were stickers in there too. I'm trying to see if she's got like, you know, she's got like little, I don't know, imperfections underneath. But I will suck it up, Buttercup, because, you know, life's too short to sweat the small stuff. All right, and then I have one more. And let's see who it is. It does have a tear strip, yay, which makes life easier. Okay, I'm going to split it all the way down the side here so I don't mess up my sticker. Okay, let's see. And this time we got, oh, this is a little, okay, this is cute. This is little stickers. Instead, you get these three small stickers. So you could get one large or you could get multiple small ones, which is very cool. And, okay, this is the same series, series four. So let's see who we got in here. Oh, my first non-foil, but this is super cute. Oh, so they do all have colored chains, though, even if they're not foil, which is nice, because I figured the non-foil ones would just have standard silver chains. This one has a gold chain. Well, not gold, gold, like a, like a mustardy yellow gold, almost. But this one is really cute because it's shaped like a daisy, and I love daisies. And that, I think, is, yep, Miss Pressy, 7 of 18. It does tell you right on the back, which is awesome because I'm so bad with remembering names of Shopkins. So I love that it actually has their names on the back. And as you can see, I mean, you can certainly see from the one I'm wearing right now, but you can, like, slip this right over your head. No problem whatsoever. These chains are nice and long. So what's cool about that is that... If you like a long necklace, like I always wear my Hope necklace, well, not always, but most of the time I wear my Hope necklace. I rarely take this off. I have a couple of like good necklaces that I wear in rotation. This is one of them, but you can wear this with it and it won't interfere with the short necklace. And um, yeah, as you can see, they're really pretty with the colorful chains, but they're nice and long. But if you don't want them this long, it's super easy. If you have wire snips um, for jewelry crafting or even like for gardening, like gardening snips or shears, whatever you call them, <laughs> you can uh, just, ah, crap. Oh, the little um, jump ring was a little bit I guess there's a gap in it. Yeah, so I just have to tighten that up. See, it's got that little space there. But um, you can very, very easily just snip a ball chain, even with probably a sturdy pair of scissors. I would say you could probably snap, you know, snip through this, uh, the sections of this ball chain and, and customize it to whatever length you like if you don't like it so long. But anyway, that is my little um, Dave and Buster's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have a Dave and Buster's near you, I want to know, what's your favorite game? I have, well, probably my favorite game. Um, I'm thinking it's been there now probably close to a year. It's um, a Star Trek game, and it's one of those ones where, like, a coin drops, and it has to press, like, things over the ledge. But instead of just coins pressing over the ledge, it also has trading cards that can press over the ledge for different seasons and incarnations of Star Trek. I worked really, really hard to get all of the ones from the original series of Star Trek, not for points because you can turn them in and you can get tickets, but I just wanted them to collect. So I have all of the ones, not rares, there's also rares, um, but I have all of the ones from season one. I think there were nine altogether eight or nine and i have all the ones from season two again not rares i have a few rares because each one comes in like a regular finish and then like a special limited edition foily type finish um and then i assumed three they would move on and do ds9 which i think was the third incarnation of star trek if i'm not mistaken was that the third one I'm thinking that was the third one. I don't think Voyager came till later. I don't know. I'm not I'm not super into all of the seasons. I really loved the original series. Um, the one that ha most has my heart is Next Generation. My husband got me into that when we got together. But anyway, um, here is one example of a card. Now they're doing the Captains series. So it's Captains from all different incarnations. So I'm assuming I'm not familiar with this one. This is Captain Garrett. The only female Captain I knew of was Janeway from Voyager. I think she... 
Was she Voyager? I think she was from Voyager. Um, so I'm not familiar with this captain. I'm assuming she's from the latest incarnation of the show, but I'm not absolutely certain. But um, I like to collect these just to have. And then if I get duplicates, obviously, then I turn them in to get tickets. But um, the game that you can win these on is my favorite game. <laughs> I used to really love skee-ball, but I'm not good at it anymore. When I was a little girl, I used to be pretty darn good at it. But now my aim is so bad. I'm in the gutter. Like, I get, like, the, the bottom where you get either, like, no points or, like, the second, like, the lowest number of points other than nothing. I used to be able to, like, hit the, the center one pretty, pretty accurately, but, yeah, not anymore. But anyway, all right, that's enough of that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.